Russell T. Davis, who you've worked with on Doctor yeah. Who and years and years, recently said that only gay actors should play gay roles. And this is an ongoing conversation. And I know you're, you, you have opinions. And I'm curious, the argument, I guess, is that if that's the case, then um, only straight roles should go to straight actors. So what is your take? Where do you, what's your take on all of this? Well, my take on that specific argument is that I thought that was um, uh, based on the casting of It's a Sin, which I've seen, by the way, and it's a beautiful piece of TV. And he felt like it was important that there was an authenticity to the characters that he was playing because also it's across the story. It's the AIDS epidemic in London. And we've not really had in the UK um, our aid story. We've had so much art made and like I was in Angels in America a couple of years ago at the National Theatre and the Normal Heart. There's been so many incredible stories, but it felt really important for him that there was an authenticity in such a, a very kind of community-based piece, queer community-based piece that it had authentic voices. But my, my, my feeling is that we're in a world where there are marginalised people, be it sexually, be it racially that haven't got an opportunity to tell their story so until there is space made that everybody can authentically tell their story whoever they are then there's more work to be done and i'm not saying take these jobs away from other people because i'm an actor and i love acting and i love to pretend to be everything as we're saying about playing straight but we need to make space so that the people who haven't authentically become superstars by telling their truthful story of their authentic life lived then we've got more work to do. That's, that's my feeling about it. I was thinking back to the reason you got into acting. You set out to make people feel like the way Robin, Robin Williams made you feel when you watched Dead Poet Society. Um, and reflecting on that, what are the roles that you've played that have made you feel like you've achieved that at this point in your career? Um, I think you mentioned Looking. I think that was an incredibly important show for me. Uh, creatively, personally, the people I work with, the way it was made, the stories it was t telling, the time it was telling the stories. I feel like that's a show that is going to be discovered forever. I feel like all queer stories sometimes get marginalized and overlooked, but they remain as beacons of hope for so many people around the world who can discover them at all different stages. So that's there. years and years was incredibly important to me. Going back retro, the History Boys was a show that changed my life, changed my career. Uh, a lot of plays have been the thing, but doing playing Joe Pitt in Angels in America at the National Theatre, uh, playing Rodolfo in uh, A View from the Bridge on Broadway, uh, having these experiences of working with the best, you know, talent and also the best writing has been the things that have moved me. Uh, molecularly further on than other things. And they're the things that I really uh, hold close to me and feel important and shows the, where I can be a fan. Like looking, I can, I'm a fan of that show, even though I'm in it, I can watch it and care about Patrick and Richie and care about Doris and know what she's up to and, and, and you know, Dom's chicken hut. I want to know, like, what the characters are doing right now. You know, like, I want a second movie. Um, I think, well, I can only think, well, I don't know. I think for my character, are Patrick and Richie still together? I'm sure. I don't know. But uh, I think Kevin is someone that has probably rebounded a few times, cheated on his boyfriend a bit more, still with his boyfriend, and probably had a couple of other experiences similar to his experience with Patrick. Uh, I would say that he's someone that hasn't really um, done the work on himself. I think there's a, there's a kind of like, I think he's probably had a fuck it button that he's pressed. Uh, <laughs> after the kind of rejection of Patrick. And I think Kevin is someone that doesn't do well with rejection. Yeah. Um, you've, th you've thought about this and I love hearing all your theories, but I want you, I hope you're typing this because I want you to send it. The, it sounds uh, like I, would love, I would love, but everybody's so, I feel like that show at the time was just so um, attacked in some ways 
if that show came out now, like the people who are discovering it now are like, this is a work of genius. And it is beautiful. And I, I would do, out of everything I've ever done, that's the one show where I would literally bite the hand of whoever it was that said, do you want to do a special? Do you want to do another season? I would be like, you know, they yeah. brought the comeback back. Lisa Kudrow 10 years later. Yeah, Let's, exactly. It would be amazing to do a, a revisit of Looking. I would love that. Revisit revisit Looking, a new Looking movie or a new series. Get Valerie Cherish on the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you That's imagine? So Valerie so Cherish is my mum or someone's mum in it. Yeah, because we've met Patrick's mum. Maybe met Valerie Cherish is... We haven't. Auntie or something. Yeah. Separated at birth. I mean, yeah. there we go. That's a story. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Do you have Zoom? I, I, I would love that. Do you have Zooms with Jonathan Groff? Are you guys still staying in touch? Yeah, yeah, we still we still talk. Um, he's doing incredibly well. I love him. He's a superstar. But yet, still always Groff, you know, he's just this wonderful, big-hearted genius that yeah. is the most perfect person you could ever meet he's oh, not on any social media so i don't think he's contaminated by all of the crap that i don't know if you're on social media but i am but how much of the crap i am and and you are and you are on it you are you are on it quite pro prolifically <laughs> yes. i love i love instagram but he's never been on any social media so he has this kind of innocence and purity to him which is like the rarest of rare <laughs> so he, he he has this just He's just sunshine. He's not kind of, he doesn't, he's, I don't think he knows what a troll is. Do you know what I mean? He's never had to experience <laughs> oh. online, online bullying of any level. So he's, he's just happy.